Hello, my name is Christina, rolling in with another episode of The Most Famous Artist. And in this episode, we are talking about Yayoi Kusama. Even if you're a little bit familiar with the art world and the artist, and you're just interested in that stuff, you must know about Yayoi Kusama and her eccentric looks, her eccentric work, a really creative style. Yayoi Kusama is actually a Japanese artist sharing the same birth date as my mom, 22nd of March. That's cool. She has worked with a wide range of media throughout her entire career, like painting, filming, sculpting, photography, performance art, and all the others, you name it, she's done it. Very early in childhood, Kusama would immerse herself into the arts and painting. At the age of 10, she would just fill up canvases and all the paper and everything around her with polka dots, which her parents were not exactly happy with. She describes herself as an obsessional artist turning her own mental illness into something beautiful like art. Images would often come to her as hallucinations and she would just transfer them on paper and everywhere she could 24-7. But her parents were not so supportive of her passionate love for painting. Growing up in a traditional household, Kusama was told to marry a rich man from a good background with high status. So her paintings and her art was a form of rebellion towards her background, traditions, her country that held her back from chasing her own dreams. For the sake of her own mental health, Kusama moved to New York with a dream of becoming a successful artist. In the 60s, the art market was largely dominated by men, so Kusama did not have much luck over there, but she was ready to compete with her male counterparts. However, she could exhibit pieces like Accumulation Number 1 and the famous Infinity Room installation. With the first one, Kusama would get obsessed with sexuality and her fear of it, so in order to overcome it she would build phallic structures literally on everything and anything she could find in order to be comfortable with it. She was so obsessed with that fear of sex that she just brought it out in an art form. The Infinity Room is a famous Kusama piece that everyone loves. It's a room with mirror glass walls everywhere and little lights hanging around. In the darkness, these lights created the atmosphere of cosmos and the stars just reflecting in the mirrors infinitely. In 1967, the artist made a film called Self Obliteration, which won the 4th Belgium International Short Film Prize. However, Kusama's paintings did not sell that well. She was friends with Georgia O'Keeffe, which had to talk to Kusama's manager in order for him to buy her paintings and give her some money because she was really struggling a lot. Kusama was working day by day, 24-7, all the time. She was obsessed with painting. She created at least one painting every single day. And after exhausting herself so much to the point of breaking down, Kusama wanted to come back to Japan and live in a mental institution. Ever since then, Kusama stayed at the institution and still creates art to this very day with just as much passion as ever before. Her aesthetic and style and polka dots, they did not change one bit. She created all of her paintings with the same style as ever. Polka dots became basically a trademark. The famous Louis Vuitton worked with Yayoi Kusama to create a fashion line with her polka dots. The artist's polka dots covered everything 
she wanted to unite all objects, people, animals, everything with the same pattern. But whether it be polka dots or infinity nets, they all expand outside the canvas. And that's how she became an environmental artist because the, her pattern would literally cover everything, creating this expanding universe. Kusama paints what she sees, just like a still life painter. But what she sees are mostly hallucinations. Kusama could tame her own disorder and turn it into obsessive creativity. So this was Yayoi Kusama for the most famous artist. Tell me if you enjoyed this artist, if you like her or not, tell me in the comments below. All the sources and links you can find in the description below, just as where you can find me. Definitely make sure to check out Yayoi Kusama and her art. Here you can see the next episode of The Most Famous Artist. This was Christina and I'm rolling out.